Before we start, I'd like to make a few things clear. You see, I use Rewind frequently, this runs no exception. I'm not the best at driving. I couldn't think of any creative livery to put on the Mini. I was shooting my own course, the final corner is actually a chicane. I drive with the racing line on and finally, the AI is using cars that are roughly 30 to 40 pi lower than mine, giving me an advantage. Probably because I'm using an all-wheel drive mini and they're using a front-wheel drive mini. And with that out of the way, we can start the intro. Hello, Hoyles here, and welcome to Forza Horizon 4. But not welcome back because this is the first video on Forza Horizon 4. And today I'd like to start a series where I show off tracks, custom cars, custom liveries, and maybe even custom tunes. You see, I really like this game and um, I also like making liveries for it, I like making cars for it, and I like making circuits for it. So I thought, why not show it all off in one video? Today we have a mini built to A class. It is uh, a PI of 799, and we're driving a course called Short Rally Cross, and we're off. Just accelerating towards the first corner now, braking here, and just drifting towards the first checkpoint and drifting towards the second one as the first two corners are now done. Going on towards the straight, we just drive with the accelerator full, uh, fully to the floor of course, here draking for the next corner and going towards the dirt part of this very very short rally course. We have at first a chicane and then we are going to have to brake for the next corner which is right here and then of course accelerate out of it, a little bit of drifting. On towards the next checkpoint, it is again a 90 degree corner. We brake for it, we drift a little bit and we again go full on the accelerator. And here just cheating the course. It's actually supposed to be a chicane but um, I just take it full on here. Next lap already, again just going to the drift uh, thing. Now for us going through the first two corners, pretty... Uh, Pretty difficult to get those right actually. And then punching it straight on towards this 90 degree corner which gets us to the very very short dirt part with this chicane which is so satisfying if you nail it. And then of course breaking for the next 90 degree corner and back on the asphalt. A little bit of drifting and we are back on the accelerator. And we are roughly breaking right about now. Again for the 90 degree corner, taking a shortcut and accelerating out of it. And here comes the very, very dirty shortcut which gains me about 2 seconds. You see a lap around here is roughly 53 seconds if we take the shortcut and then 55 if we don't take the shortcut. Since again the final corner is supposed to be chicane. And well if you don't take the final corner as chicane it is... Another very satisfying corner to make, but I really literally had no choice but to make that as you came. You see, the approach to this um, to the start finish line, which is um, gotten from uh, the cross country course, which by the way I'm I still have this set to cross country. So I just can get cross country to level 20 without having to do all of those dirty and annoying races. <laughs> I, I, I don't like them. It, it's literally my least favorite thing to do in Forza. Okay, apart from the drifting, which is going to uh, get me in, an <laughs> in a lot of heat because, well, a lot of people drive, like drifting on Forza and I don't like it. But yeah, going off topic there. It is actually really, really satisfying course to run. It is, I don't know why it's so satisfying, and I don't know why I, I drift so much with this car, but it is, it is just so, so fun to drive. And it's actually a short version of a longer rally course which I made, which uh, the AI don't really like driving on. You see, in the first version I kind of made a mistake at a corner, so um, those people just 
they, they were just losing time by dr driving uh, in circles around the corner as um, we were overtaking the first car. However, we overcooked it there on the second corner and are now going to get it back on acceleration. However, if we hit those pylons, not really going to work. Now breaking a lot more and earlier than the car uh, in front, you'll see us gaining a lot of time by simply not even braking for that chicane and then braking here and uh, seeing that we do not have any cars uh, besides or behind us not that I would know because I uh, drive from cockpit view I like to believe that it makes me faster although that's probably a lie I just like driving in cockpit view, although it's very hard to drive in cockpit view with cars that are right hand drive because they're on the wrong goddamn side. You see, I'm Dutch, not British. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just annoying because you expect to drive left hand side, but actually you're driving on the right hand side. Yeah, that, that, that is pretty annoying. But yeah, we uh, started off with a 50 second uh, disadvantage, which, as I said, it's almost a lap, although the AI just tend to do uh, 59 to 55 second laps. Although I'm pretty confident that sometimes uh, they go uh, below the one minute mark, like a one minute one or something, because they are really, really slow. They, they really are. I mean, I think they have their cars built to a PI of uh, 761. Now I'd like to attribute that to uh, me having an all-wheel drive MIDI, which uh, I said earlier. Which, by the way, I can't drive front-wheel uh, front -wheel drive cars in this game. I just can't. Maybe it's because the racing line does not suggest me to stop when I actually have to. But... I, I just can't seem to st I can't seem to drive them. I'm 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 just a terrible driver. I can only drive uh, all-wheel drive cars, I guess. <laughs> Not the topic of the video. However, we are getting on another group of cars here. Again, uh, we are at the moment 11th, going on to 10th now as we uh, pass the red mini, and now just. Gaining a heap of positions and possibly like ninth or 8th at the moment here. Really, really uh, oversteering car this one. It's, it's, it's quite a fun car to drive, but you really have to know um, how to drive it. Because it's, it's quite the difficult car to drive, as I said. And, well... It's always gonna drift, so you have to uh, you have to use that to your advantage. <laughs> As uh, you've you've seen this video, it drifts a lot. Well, I I said that I don't really like drifting in this game, but I I of course mean purpose drifting. I mean, if if you drift on um, what uh, this is supposed to be a rally cross track, a rally cross track. I'm sorry. Then it's, it's, it's logical, because Rallycross, you basically drift through half the corners. But it's, 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 just, uh, it's just difficult to prevent this car from drifting. And well, having to drift, uh, for example, for a drift championship or, or a drift zone, I don't like that, because I am really, really shit at drifting. <laughs> and not only that, I I just don't see the point. I don't I don't like it. But enough bashing on drifting. I mean, that's not probably what you came here for. Let's talk about the livery. You see, I didn't do much on the livery today. Just uh, casual uh, number 18 on the sides and the Hoyos Videos logo on the side, and then on the back, uh, Hoyos Videos URL link. And on the top we have the Dutch flag. But that's then just about it. As I really, really overcook it into the first corner. <laughs> but somehow still maintain my position. I mean, it, it's just really difficult for me to create a livery on this car. Because it looks lovely in red. I don't really want to change 
color for any part of the car and changing color for any part of the car is quite a big thing in liveries because well well have you ever seen a livery that's just a single color well you probably have I mean uh, take Lotus car for example okay okay it has a gold accent color but it's it's still mainly black I mean the half of this year is mainly black and they did a very very bad job at it <laughs> enough opinions it's it's going to uh, it's going to come back to haunt you there the second corner you're seeing that sometimes I go on the grass and sometimes I don't. I find it a really difficult corner to nail because, of course, you'd want to use the maximum radius there. As um, in that corner, I really did use the maximum radius I could because apparently it makes you faster. Just going the, the wrong way into this corner and then uh, able to correct it. <laughs> yeah, as, as I said, it's a very hard car to drive, but it's so lovely because of it. Yes, it's it's so satisfying when you get a you get a lap right or you get a corner right. Which, by the way, this is an excellent uh, circuit for hot lapping, as I nearly clipped the inside barrier there and really decelerate too much, <laughs> if I'm honest. Then here, grabbing more radius of the corner, although not really intentionally. I really have to uh, better that. And as as for the start of this recording. Uh, I have some 22 laps of experience around this circuit but with this uh, particular chicane bit I'd say let's add 30 to 40 laps to that because uh, of course those that first and second version of the long track that had that chicane bit too so I'm kind of really experienced in that chicane bit and probably it's the only uh, the only corner apart from this one that I know how to uh, how to take it properly how to uh, take it properly with the line as I just collide with that building and we should be very very happy that uh, buildings uh, <coughs> don't just fall apart when you collide with them because wouldn't have um, wouldn't have been nice for either of us it, it would have ended my race and would have ended their house. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was just an obvious mistake. And then the, the exit of the second corner. It was just very, very, very slow. It was practical, or practically standing still at the end of it. Coming to another car here. I'm very confident that this is uh, the first place car. Because the first place car was really, really far ahead of the rest. Which... Uh, I don't really understand how, and I don't really understand why it took me so long to uh, catch up with it, with him. Well, I was doing like 53 uh, frees on, uh, on my fast lap. I mean, I did get a 52.9 once, but I can't seem to replicate that. So I'm just going to place my average time between 53 and 54 seconds without a mistake. Well, the AI having 55 seconds and a 50 second lead advantage. Obviously, uh, well, you're basically behind, or well, you're, you're basically gaining on them by roughly one second per lap. Thus, it's very obvious that uh, it's very hard to catch the leader. Although, I did catch uh, those first two groups of cars uh, really nicely. Those were actually two cars. I didn't expect that. Uh, I was probably wrong then. I mean, I did record this run on uh, Monday evening, pretty much Monday evening, as uh, I tried to take the full radius of the corner, but uh, I got a little bit of an oversteer and thus uh, really couldn't exploit it. And then again, going through this corner, I didn't really maximize the radius there. And yeah, here, just, this, this is just so, so much of a satisfying corner. It is so satisfying that I often forget to break for the next corner and that's where most of my rewinds went as uh, we have a white car up ahead and that could be the first place guy although i'm not sure anymore could be another group of cars actually it's yes it is another group of cars three cars 
that he just passed there with a very, very dirty corner cut. But let's be honest here, everyone would take that line. Yes, I really, really can grab the inside. I uh, also wasted uh, some rewinds on the fact that I sometimes clipped the inner wall there and uh, fully stopped, which last time I checked, that is not uh, so advantageous for fast lap time. That would uh, land you in a minute or so, because you're not only losing time because of the fact that you're standing still there, you're also losing time because you have to accelerate up to the normal speeds uh, after that. And well, it's pretty much negated uh, after the first corner. You see that sign drop? I actually had to use a rewind there because uh, that sign drop was because of me. As I overtake another three cars. I swear to God we're on the latter half of, uh, of the laps by now. Should probably put up a lap counter here somewhere. I did disable the GUI because, uh, well, this is a replay and I don't really like to replay GUI showing on a video. I should probably actually get uh, <coughs> a different video editor than Windows Live Movie Maker so I can make some uh, neat little custom graphics and uh, pinpoint it my time some more accurately as uh, another gr group of two cars that that is that we're approaching. We, uh, when I approach a group of cars, I really tend to push and look for the gap immediately, even though that is not to my advantage at all, because mostly I'm a second behind or something when I start looking for gaps and overdriving the car, which um, isn't very handy, and by the way. You saw there the mistake of clipping uh, the inside wall. Just got a little bit early on the cornering. And well, as I said, it's really, really difficult to uh, see where the apex of that corner is if you're driving in the uh, cockpit view, the internal view. Which, as I said, I really like the internal view. Lifting around the corner again. It is uh, just some acceleration as we have roughly three minutes left on the video. I'll have to fill it. You'll notice me sometimes really corner cutting that corner that we just took. Well, sometimes you break uh, really, really early and you're basically standing still by the time you're getting, you're getting to the actual apex of the corner. So I thought, well, the best thing to do is just cut the corner entirely and just run, run over the bushes. Maybe even that's the faster line. Although if you could uh, combine the chicane and the and the corner after it into one flowing sequence I think you can really really gain some time there because well if, if you can get the drift uh, to last for a slight bit longer you can take it into that corner I, I can totally see that saving you time although drifting doesn't really save you time well it's, it's rally cross Drifting saves you time most often. And one more thing to address then as we head into the final minutes of the video. Sometimes you'll see the footage uh, jumping. And uh, as I completely missed the checkpoint there but somehow make it. Sometimes you, you'll also notice that the engine sounds are way, way down. Well, I really have to optimize my, uh, my recording for this game. To be honest, this is actually the final lap, and this is you know, just so satisfying to hook up. Actually, the final corner, it was the most satisfying line I ever took uh, through that corner in these 20 laps. Which, by the way, we've done 20 laps on this circuit, and it's 20 minutes. So yeah, it roughly equates to uh, what one minute per uh, per lap on average. However, that is going to be it for this video. I am Hoyos, and this is Beer Craddock with Boys Bob.